you know, I probably should have, like, sat down and, like, really looked more into this because apparently there are more videos on this. Thank you, Faz. Uh, Faz Persona, I have seen your videos before. Um, I am going to be using your videos. I do apologize. If you don't want me to use them, let me know. I will take them down. Um, but there is a revealed trailer that was actually right before the gameplay trailer, but I only saw the gameplay trailer that I recommended, so that's where I got it from. And then I saw the whole... Um, English subtitles. So, we're probably not going to see in the English subtitles on this one. I'm not going to go look. Um, but apparently, also posted an hour ago um, was the new gameplay screenshots. So, we're going to watch the reveal. We're going to hear a little bit more voice acting, I'm assuming. And then we're going to go watch the screenshots. Because, like I said, I don't normally do this about games. I don't really care for games that much. This is an exception. It's Persona 5, one of my favorite, if not my favorite game of all time. I know if some people might disagree, personal opinion. But let's jump into the... It's actually Persona 5 The Phantom X, not Phantom... Uh, Persona 5X. I'm going to call Persona 5X, though, because it just kind of makes it easier. All right, enough talking. I'm ready to jump into this. So it is made by a Chinese company. So I am curious, hopefully no microtransactions, outside of maybe, you know, like, costumes. If that's the case, I actually won't mind it, if there's costumes. Cosmetics. But that's it. Hopefully not. Hopefully there's no real gotcha aspects. But we'll see. Sega. I turned the volume just a little bit. If I remember, there was a um, IP of Persona X that was licensed. So I'm assuming that's a mascot. Totally not Starbucks coffee right there. Is that the... It is. Are we going to get a better look at her? Ooh! The Grimoire? Why does she have a Grimoire? Every time I hear I think of Grimoire, it reminds me of Nier. That voice actor sounds very di un different. And I like how the it's just a circle. The table. But he's underwater. Is he? Is it like representing that he's sinking? Because the room of the the Velvet Room uh, reflects what's in your heart. Okay. All right. So, really curious. I'm gonna do a quick little jump down. That's not gonna be much, but interesting. Very interesting. I kind of, you know, cool style. I do like that strand of hair going down on the left hand side of her head, like that. Interesting. It's the grimoire. Why does she have a grimoire? And what does it signify? That's a big question. I know a little bit about grimoire stuff, so, but I'm I'm not super well versed about like the whole history of what grimoires were. So I'm just kind of like, um, like grimoire vice, um, um from near replicant. But also. We're gonna go see the gameplay. Or screenshots. So I wonder what we're gonna see. So again, thank you, Faz. And you playing Phantom, of course. Ooh! Alright. So you get to see the weapons. What the fuck kind of weapon is the one on the bottom? No, okay, no, no, that's just a weapon. That's okay, so it is Billy Sticks. Or yeah. Not I, I know they're not really called Billy Sticks, sorry. Um it's the ones where you hold them, but the long side goes on this side, and 
They're, it's an actual name for them. I've, uh, uh, they're not really Night 6 either, so I was wrong on that one. However, so again, main character uses a pistol, although it looks more like a um, more modern and funny thing is it kind of reminds me of the 10mm pistol from Fallout 4, oddly enough. Uh, that gun you can't really tell, but it looks like it has a China scope. So it might be a rifle, but I don't see the stock. I don't see a stock whatsoever, so I'm not sure. Alright, so. Are those flintlocks? Those could be. That looks like a flintlock. By the way, really cool drip, by the way. Really cool drip. Those might be flintlocks. So it could, okay, so it is, it's, it's pistols. So I'm wondering, just from the style, I wonder if he's a light with gun skills. Light, uh, uh um, blessed damage with gun skills. That would be actually kind of dope. But it, those look like flintlocks, although... The ends almost look like axes, or like hatchets. That's that's kind of dope. That's a that's a really cool looking design. Um, so apparently these are on the official website. I can't find the official website, and I tried digging for a little bit, got too lazy, decided to make a video on this. Oh, so those are those are daggers. Okay. So very, um, very replicate, uh, replicated of um, Joker. So, oh, yo, look at that. That is a fucking dope. That is such a cool persona. <laughs> okay, hands down, I think that might be one of the coolest persona designs. Not gonna lie, I don't care what anyone says. It's like a samurai style mecha that's small. Like, I don't know what the hell these are with the, these purple, those red balls in there. I don't know what it is, but that's dope. That is a cool design. And then, yep. That is fucking cool. Alright. Okay. That is a cool design, too. That's a cool looking persona design. The how the how the hood almost attaches to the legs. That's actually really cool, bro. Yo, these might have the best looking design so far, and you can see like the it has even though it has gloves, it has like the nails outside of it. That is, yo. <laughs> yo, the designs are on point. And then her design, which is the yellow. Okay, so she has the flail. Sorry about that. My phone's going off. Girlfriend's messaging me. Um. So she has the flail. That is an interesting. Is it too late to say she might be the best girl? Or early? I feel like it's too early. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe there's going to be some screenshots that change my mind. Take the train to school in the morning and start a colorful campus life. Meeting new students, chatting with classmates about popular events, and you'll be able to answer tough questions from your classroom's teachers. Teachers, This is how an interesting day begins. Okay. Yo, who that girl on the bottom be? That's the teacher. Are we gonna see the teacher? Is is uh is that the Kawakami? Can you waifu her? Am I going to go the harem route and get my ass beat up on Valentine's Day? Because it kind of seems like I might. All right, so a unique life of urban exploration. Experience a variety of after-school activities. You can play baseball, go fishing, date someone you like. Confirmation. Or work hard at a convenience store. <laughs> Will these experiences help you sharpen, help you to sharpen your desires? You know what kind of makes it sad, though? I, I will bring him up as many times because uh, I just think his story was so tragic. Etika would be over the moon on this, I feel like. He would probably play this. I, I'm liking Tomoko? Tomoka? Tomoko? I think it was Tomoko. Cool looking. Ooh, who are you? 
Whether on or off campus, the protagonists will meet various people. They ha have different personalities, so try to mingle with them. After establishing a, syn a synergistic relationship with them, you will not only be able you will not only unlock more convenient functions, but also get to know the unknown story behind each person. The fact that this is a mobile game, I'm really curious on how this is gonna go, and when we're gonna get it localized and come over here. Okay, so we saw that in the gameplay trailer. Oh my god, there's suddenly an eyeball-like icon on the phone. In the phone, miraculously, it connects reality to the other world, the metaverse. With it, the main group can freely enter and leave the other world. The girl, the secret treasure, which is quietly sleeping in the depths of the underworldly palace. So, I know a lot of people are going to, for some reason, going to be like, this is too much like Persona 5, but you do have to realize there are going to be people like that in the comments, not in this video, but in general, of why this is so much like Persona 5. Why isn't this like a new game? One, this is a direct addition to Persona 5. It's even in the title. And two, this... We gotta see it was like black something studios who are making this game. It's a Chinese based game. So they're reusing a lot of assets, but a lot of the things gonna be similar just with different style. And you know what? I'm actually kinda fine with this. I like the I love the whole thievery going into palaces, stealing treasures. I thought that was a great concept, and a lot of people in the liked it too. So go with what's works. That's a cool looking palace. Oh, it's like for scale. Yo. As a, a famous general, Obi-Wan Kenobi once said, hello there. <laughs> there, <laughs> sorry. There is an underwater tunnel in the sea of mind. Interesting, okay. It is a narrow gap between dream and reality, mind and matter. Between spirits and matcha, only those who have made the choice are entitled to visit this place. The owner of the room, Igor, if you know that reference, I appreciate you, and his assistant, Marope, Marope? I'm assuming that might just be a slight translation. I'm assuming her real, her translated name might be Melody. Marope, because Marope, that's kind of interesting have been waiting for a long time. An unknown adventure is about to begin. Yo, I'm I'm really looking forward to this. I'm really looking forward to this. So I'm just gonna skip ahead. Okay. So we got to see this in the um, gameplay trailer. All right. As part of the other world, Mementos is the world presenting presented by the embodiment of the collective human unconscious i'm gonna go lower the volume because um so i can narrate it because i think i can narrate it as well and continue on in this endless space let's steal those distorted desires together okay saw that in the gameplay trailer that's really cool looking though oh so no it's just his standard pose it's kind of cool yeah, look at that persona, dude. He has almost like the the eyes are a little bit like he has like girlish eyes. I'm hoping he's not bratty. That's all I care about. Like, look at that design. That's such an interesting like. Okay, so we did see that. <gasps> They're all there. Okay, so I'm assuming, like, I don't know what this means. Like, you can team up with them for, like, temporarily? I don't know. Yo, look at that! Look at that! That's fucking cool! That's fucking dope, man! That is so cool. Man, okay, so I'm assuming that's a treasure. But all of them are there. Um, except for, uh, Akechi and, uh, Yoshizawa. Yo, that's fucking dope. That is so cool. Okay, some some sketches. Shigenori Soijima. Soijima. Oh, yo. Yo. Look at that. Look at that. That's a QR code, I'm assuming, on the bottom right. 
Yo, those are fucking dope. Look at the X. Look at the uh, look at the mask with the, with the X. That's fucking dope. Mm. So that's the other. I'm assuming that's the blonde or the white haired girl. Um, and that's her. And then the other guy, uh, the other dude with the black hair. So maybe it's just gonna be a core of four. Man. Alright, I'm hype. I'm really hype. You know, I didn't... I, I, when I first made my first video going over the gameplay, I I was like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to make a video until I see more stuff. I'm glad I did. Um, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to hearing more about this game. And I'm really hoping there's not going to be a big lull between getting the Chinese release, the Japanese release, and then eventually, a, hopefully, a global release. I'm really curious. I'm trying to figure out how this game is going to be marketed. If this is a single player game with no PvP, how are they going to earn their money? Are you going to have to pay for the mobile game? Most mobile games don't really do that. There's a lot of question marks. But yeah, this almost makes me want to feel though that since this is a mobile game, I'm hoping that eventually we can get a standoff a port for this. If it's good enough. We'll see. Who knows? Maybe this will do really well. I'm, I'm just curious on how they're going to do this marketing-wise. And how they're going to make money from it. Because, yeah. But, anyways, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are as excited as I am. More Persona 5 content is always more uh, looking looked forward to. Alright, um, so, hopefully, by the time I end this video, there's not going to be more stuff. But if there is, you'll see a video right after this. But if not, I will see you in, the, in my stream right after this. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.